Nah, let's go, baby. Good morning. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Definitely want to start there for some gratitude. Thanking the Lord for the blessings that we receive and thanking him for another beautiful day. So let's go, people. It's Motivation Monday. And here we are. New week. New you. Time to reflect and set some intentions. I think it's so important each morning that we, we, we set our path and say, okay, where am I going today that's going to make me feel accomplished at the end of the day? I was talking to some friends this weekend, had my nephew's birthday party on Saturday at my brother's house, had some time to sit down and have a good conversation. And how many times have you had that in the last few days? Honestly, those type of conversations, they don't happen as often as they should, but when they do, they're so meaningful. And what we talked about was how we must be able to be flexible, bend but don't break type situation in life. And also, as fathers, be that example for our children. And each and every day as I think about my children, my boys, I think to myself, am I doing the best I can? Am I being the best father, the best role model? Am I being the best version of me? And the decisions that we make and also the perception that we give to our children. See, our children only know as much as they, they, they can see, right? But then also they start to ask and question what's going on and they start asking their friends and those conversations and all these things start to come up and these emotions start to come up. And then they have some different perspective that they don't always share with you. And we must be, you know, we must be uh, doing our homework and making sure that our connection with our children is strong enough so that the communication goes back and forth in those, in those situations where your child doesn't just assume one thing or the other. And it's important for us that we continue to, to work on ourselves as adults because we can get caught up, right? We can get caught up in the mix and just doing things and doing things. And, you know, for us as a family, we're coming, you know, we're coming to an end of uh, a, a very exciting time. You know, my wife, you know, she, she committed to going back for her master's because she wanted growth in her career. And so our whole family has made that shift to make it possible for her to be able to do the best version of her each and every day. And she has her finals today, one day today, and then she has another final uh, on Friday. And so she's been working so hard. I'm talking 12 to 16 hour days studying, going over information. And I believe that, you know, it's a little excessive, but she is, you know, she is a, um, she is a person of, of commitment and diligence and she wants a hundred. Like she don't want to just pass the test. Like she wants a, a flawless test. Right. And so that's the way that she's showing up. But here's, here's the point of what I'm saying is, is that, you know, these last 56 weeks has not been just her going to school. It's been our entire family working together with all the schedule changes and all the things that kind of come and go and, you know, days that we feel great, days that we don't feel great, like just keep pushing. But again, it's, it's a lesson learned for our children to see that, you know what, no matter how, what age we are, when we want something new, we want to set new goals and new determinations and whatever it may be, like we can do it. It's, it's, it's just a commitment level and getting after it, but also being persistent, but also being patient, um, you know, because every day is not perfect. It really isn't, but you have to realize that that's the way it's intended, right? We have grow days and then we have flow days, <laughs> grow days and flow days. And so today, guys, what day is it going to be for you and what intentions do you have? Motivation Monday. Let's kick some butt. Let's go. And guys, say some prayers for my wife that she crushes the test because she's definitely put in the work to deserve crushing that test. All right. Well, God bless y'all. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. <laughs> See? <laughs> Wonderful Monday. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.